you might be looking at the title of this video and you might be thinking to yourself, Leon, <laughs> don't you bring any of this to our attention. We're trying to have a normal day. We don't have time for this debauchery. And I'm sorry, but it needs to be addressed because of how cataclysmically funny some people tend to operate in terms of going about their life to screw over other people 2020 was a magical time for everybody a lot of things were on lockdown people were trying to make ends meet a lot of people were losing out on money because their jobs didn't know how to handle the beginning of the pandemic and it was a lot going on and in terms of the children they were trying to navigate what they were going to be doing in terms of school because i believe when pandemic first started school was still going on even though they had like maybe one two months going into the summer vacation and they had to navigate all these things especially what these children were going to do in terms of classes and they found out the proper way to do it was to do it over zoom and that led to a bunch of good moments and bad moments but we're not focusing on it we're focusing on one specific area who had the idea to provide meals for the students during like lunch hours and i believe that's a good idea especially during that time because who knows what's going on in all these different people's lives and this is a good idea to make sure that kids are eating nutritious meals right no one could possibly think of an underhanded tactic to scheme and take away from children <laughs> right <laughs> illinois cafeteria director is in trouble for running a 1.5 million dollar chicken wing heist <gasps> Well, 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 during the height of COVID-19's pandemic, people everywhere took advantage of low gas prices and working from home. Varel Liddell, terrible name, on the other hand, saw COVID as her sign to pull off the biggest scheme in chicken wing history. And now... She's paying the price. The 68-year-old would be spending the next nine years in prison after pleading guilty to stealing $1.5 million of dollars worth of chicken wings. And it stopped right there. Can we just, for a second, this, this got to be the most stereotypical shit I've ever seen anybody attempt to do. Because on what planet do you wake up and decide, yes, I am going to, throughout these next few weeks, maybe months, if not even a full year, take million dollar chicken worth and just have it for myself. And I shudder to think what this chicken was being used for. Liddell's heist first began in July of 2020 and continued for nearly two years, so I wasn't that far off. During this time, she would order food, mostly chicken wings, through Gordon Food Services, which served most of the schools in the district. She would even use school cargo van to pick up the food before taking it home for herself. The massive fraud began at the height of COVID, during a time when students were not allowed to be physically present in school. Even Though the children were learning remotely, the school district continued to provide meals for the students at their families could pick up. And I believe, what a great idea for Illinois' food service to actually be doing. The former Illinois food service director was caught in 2023. An audit revealed the school district was more than $300,000 over budget despite being mostly online. When Liddell's schemes were unveiled, she was charged with theft and operating a criminal enterprise last January, and she pleaded guilty on August 9th. The ex-director was reportedly the only person responsible for placing the food orders. Upon closer review, she discovered individual invoices signed by Liddell for massive quantities of chicken wings, an item that was never served to the students because they contain bones. Because let's be real here, boneless wings are the superior type of chicken to consume. You motherfuckers that just want to have your fingers dirty for no reason, you're sick. And I know you don't wash your hands after you wipe your ass. Liddell acquired an estimated 11,000 cases of chicken that never saw inside of a school's cafeteria and my question is did she just have all of this in one or multiple freezers because i can't look at this with any type of intellect and think to myself this is actually going to be something that i could do for any length of time past a day let alone two years this woman just essentially said, you know what, because I'm in this position of power, I'm going to abuse it and not bring any of this chicken to these students, but I'm going to hoard it and quite frankly, don't know if I'm going to get caught or not. This is 
the greatest type of stereotyping anyone could possibly look at. Because, of course, everyone knows black people like chicken. But I defy you to find anyone besides this woman who will be dedicated to getting chicken this much that they're going to be in a $1 million scheme for some fucking chicken. It's impossible. But, you damn fool, I hope you rot in absolute piss knowing that you will no longer get those gourmet frozen Tyson chicken nuggets, but instead you will be getting the slop, the spoiled gravy, the unmitigated, unrecognizable mashed potatoes. And you remember that as you chew on that soggy type of food, you remember that you took the opportunity for students to eat as they were suffering sitting in bed at random points in the day listening to a teacher as they cranked 40s in Fortnite. And remember, chicken is good, but it'll never be that good. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.